Hey guys, um, I know I said I was going to be coming back and stuff. I have posted a couple of random videos. Um, I had like this weird thing going on with my voice recently where it was like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It, it sounded like when you're sick. Um, so it was hard to, I sounded like stuffed up and stuff, but I wasn't sick. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm sounding better now. I haven't really been doing doll stuff for the past couple of days. I do have all the Wild Hearts crew dolls. I got um, all of them. And I have gotten the new Comfy Princess Packs. Um, and two of the Wild Hearts crew, like, uh, fashion pack, no, three actually, of the packs, uh, so yeah, I've gotten a couple of things, not too many, I've been focusing on, like, my crafting and stuff, my mom was here for two weeks, so that kept me really busy, we were, like, going to the pool every day and going out all the time, so I was hardly home really like <laughs> doing anything it was just busy 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 with her and then she went back to New York and then um I kind of like got the crafting bug I guess because you know Halloween and fall and everything's in the stores now and pumpkin spice and, and all that stuff that I love so <clears throat> excuse me um I've got motivated a bit been watching a lot of YouTube videos uh, crafting and things like that and right here if you see well except for this this right here my mom got me uh, at Hobby Lobby pumpkin spice everything it's shaped like a coffee cup it's really cute so I got that and then I made this I just recently made this pumpkin harvest decor if I come over here to the side, you can see it's like 3D-ish. And then in the back, I have that, you know, attached to it so it can stand up. Then there's the harvest. It's metal. I distressed it. I painted the pumpkins and everything. And then I made this little decor item here which is on a base. This base that this is on actually is the base that this pumpkin came on that I ripped apart <laughs> and I reused it with this. So I had this owl and this other leaves and a couple of other things here that I had glued and attached and everything put together. And then today I made this which I'm absolutely in love with. So as you can see, it's a pumpkin spice latte um, wall sign. I'll get up close. It's sparkly, has little orange rhinestones. I did have to custom mix the pink color. I put some white in there, distressed a bit to make it look like a drink. This is made from um, poster board, well, doubled poster board that I did. And I hand drew the whole thing. More crystals. I gave it a straw, made it from um, pipe cleaners. And then um, I did make something else, but I have it on the other side of the room uh, by my altar and I will show you guys that in a little bit let's see I'm not sure if I can pause this to take you over there because I'm actually recording off of the YouTube app directly and I think if I hit the button it's just gonna stop the recording so I'm going to flip you, bring you down to the ground. You can follow my feet. 
Here's my hand. And we'll go back here. Uh, excuse the bed or the cot. It's still here from when my mom was here. And then it's right here in this corner. And I know it's dark, but if I can get my hand behind it. There we go. So there you see, there you see, that was the first thing that I actually made. And it is like, um, a pumpkin topiary, topiary, I believe it's how they call, it's how they call them. I'm going to flip you again. So I have two little scarecrows in the side. Um, the pumpkins are metallic-y. So we have like, uh, there was a maroon and an orange and a green. I know it's hard to see because it's dark. I added some florals and the canister. It's like a planter. Had an owl on it. Um, and then the lights. Those lights, you can see they're maple leaves. And I thought the lights just added like a really cool touch to it. I'm sorry I have like the camera all over the place, but <laughs> I really like you know I really want you to to see to see what I've um made. So yeah, that's what I've been focusing on lately. It's really dark back here right now because I don't have any of the lights on, but in here are the Wild Hearts crew girls. Let me see if I can get a light on. There we go. So they're in there. And they're all in different outfits and changed. And they're having a little, like, party. Eating some food. And then this room here. I finally got this room set up. But no one's living in here right now. <laughs> Just yet. But I have everybody else. I put my snow white hybrid in that Wild Hearts crew outfit. She's on a curvy body, so it fits pretty good. And then everybody else. Um, Y'all remember Autumn, my um, mischievous little pixie? She has a sister now. Meet Winter. <laughs> yes, her name is Winter and her name is Autumn. And I know that they're like a uh, Tinkerbell sister and the other one's the pirate fairy and all that stuff. But these are my dolls and this is my world and that's what I want them to be. So autumn and winter. And then I have my other girls here. And her, she got put on the Bo Peep um, action body. Which matches her skin tone a lot better than the body that she had, which is this purple top body that she got. So yeah, um, that's about it really. I mean, I finished organizing everything and cleaning up everything. Uh, this is how my top shelf looks right now. I'm missing one American Girl doll and she's still inside her uh, box down there. From when she came back from her eye swap, it's just that her hair is a mess. When she came back with her hair a mess, and I haven't fixed her up. I do have an outfit right there ready for her. And then, um, <clears throat> this shelf is where I have, like, my one-off dolls and my odd dolls and dolls that were gifts to me. But she has on one of the comfy princess outfits, and that's, she's on an A-zone one of those fakey A-zone bodies that comes with the blies and icy heads. This is a Descendants body. And she has the Mulan. This is the um, Aurora. And then we have my vintage Stacy um, body doll. This doll is articulated. And she's wearing the Cinderella one. And it fits really good. They do not fit Barbies, like made to move Barbies or anything like that, but they probably fit like petite maybe. They'll fit maybe a Stacy. I'm not sure about a skipper. 
but they're not going to fit um, like a regular Barbie body. That's for sure. They don't stretch enough and the quality is eh. So can't expect too much. And then, of course, I have like a huge mess all over here right now because of the crafting stuff. But, um, yeah. Oh, and this is another thing my mom got me while she was here. So that right there. All right. So let me go. <laughs> my dog is crying she wants something um and i'm really sorry that the videos have been like so sporadic and i haven't been back like normal but hopefully soon depression can kick you in the butt really bad sometimes and it makes you not want to do things and yeah but um yeah hopefully i'll be back i don't know hopefully i'll be back soon but um i hope you enjoy this and i'll see you when i see you all right guys bye